Okay, protect yourself at all time will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now and go back to your striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, head kick lands was hurt. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Circling towards the left now. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Block that kick to the body. Oh, that's a nice strike. Head kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Unable to land on the uppercut there, but now starting to use that reach advantage. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, missed on that one. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Head block. 20 
seconds left. Ten seconds now in round one. Just misses with a left hook there. So there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Checks the leg kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Nice head kick. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. How about that shin? So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Sneaky head kick. to avoid that right hand. Just misses there with the left. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. He's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Misses again with a right punch. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice kick. Oh, nice right hand. That was a thudding leg kick. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Back and forth we go here. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Went for the inside leg kick. Hip into that leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Big hard punch land. Now he gets back in range. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent 
on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. for the head kick, no dice. Dig and kick. Slips the punch nicely there. Big head kick lands. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Nice punch lands. There's no tell on that leg kick. Oh, well-timed and placed overhand by Lee. Just out of range with that kick attempt. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing but he can't take many more like that. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. fighter having no issue getting the win to the target there. Right under the elbow, the body kick land. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Well, confidence is high. I repeat, confidence is high. And I got to think when you knock a fighter down in the previous round, that's going to think you can do it again. I mean, confidence is key in anything you do in regards to fighting. So, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such tough to even be on his feet right now. Here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Just missed with the left there. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. And he lands the knee to the body now. Try to establish that jab. Just unable to quite find that range. Look at him by the shin into 
body with that body kick. Looping left hand misses the target. by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off. He blocked the punch. He missed with that jab attempt there. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Jab, no good. Wow! He's out! Unbelievable! Oh my goodness, what a fight. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. But just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 27 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner, Bob.